Hey everybody, Paperclip here again. Gonna be playing some more EU4 today, as to Baristan, where we left off in episode 1, where we're watching all of these rebels over in Persia. And wishing that we could actually do something. But we can't. We can't do anything at all. I'm really hoping that our rebels spawn. But if they do, they're going to sit here in the desert and probably get destroyed anyway. So I don't think it's really going to do too much. Oh, he's got Corsani separatists as well. Okay, so he's getting all kinds of separatists everywhere. Getting a little too big for your own britches. Is that it? We're getting crap tons of money right now. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to get a royal marriage with him. I'm going to go ahead and actually give him a little gift. Since he only has one person. I'm going to give him a gift of 50 gold. I don't necessarily care about his opinion. But I figured he can at least build up to his force limit. Which is probably only like 3 or 4. But even still. I'll take what I can get. Alright, so we got idle diplomats, so I might as well start fabricating claims on stuff. Let's claim, I don't know, Tehran. Pretty sure that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, we'll get a claim up here in Nogai, I guess. We'll claim like Rin. Just go down the line, just get all four of them. Get, get that, that, and hopefully like these three. If I get like those three and those two out of a war, I would be very happy. Oh. A zero two six, really? Like you had to have me sit here in this regency for five years and you give me a zero two six. Make me lose piety, lose legitimacy, and stability. He's awful. Like, he's a horrible freaking person. I don't know if I want to freaking knock that up. Look how freaking bad he is. Freaking to merds. Oh, he's got tribe rebels too. You're just falling apart over there, aren't you, man? Oh, he doesn't want any help anymore. I think I'm going to do, are you a person of interest? You are. Are you? Yep. Are you? No. Become one. I want you to be one. I want you to be one. I want you to be one. Baluchistan. Uzbek. Crimea. And Ottomans. And Mamluks. Everyone in this general region. Let's see, he still wouldn't be too fond of me. I bring his opinion up a little bit. I mean, I could get the Diplo Rep guy. I don't know how much it's really going to help that, though, to be honest. He's only going to give me plus 10 from a rural marriage. But he want rural... Nah, see, he doesn't even want military access or anything, so I can't even do that.
Oh, he's actually pretty close. I said definitely get that guy. Yep. That's all it took. Uzbek's still kind of far away. One thing I could do... How loyal is he? So I could come over here and I could try and get AQ as a vassal. That might work. Tamarids have been able to hold on to Doab and have been forced to return it to Punjab. Okay. Seems like he's doing fine with freaking all of his other rebel problems though. Let's see how much manpower he wasted going through all his... He has no manpower and three mercenaries. But he still has 40 freaking almost 7,000 troops that's nuts that is just nuts I mean I could do a no CB war but maybe Maybe an OCB war is a good idea. I mean, if I'm going to do it, I should probably do it now before QQ makes him a vassal or something like that. You know what? Let's do it. Let's live dangerously. Good, we still have the discipline guy. Let's swap him out for the main power guy. Okay. Let's come on over to Mush. And once I'm over here, I'm just gonna do a no no C B war. I can even tech up military first. Perfect. Yep. Whatever. Yeah, just do it. Bam, stack white. Alright, just send the mercs over there. I'm just gonna try and... The QQ. Yep, QQ declared his own war. basically means I gotta get someone up and over here like right now perfect sorry QQ I was too quick for you Oh. 
I'm not sure what else I could have really done right now besides this, but... How does that make my aggressive expansion? Noticeable. Fine. Let's be honest, I don't really think I need those mercs anymore. Yep, don't even need those mercs. Oh, by the way, I'd like to increase that a bunch. Because that one also produces silk. So now we have quite a bit of silk being produced. One thing I should probably be doing though is ba bam. Just because negative three stability is really bad. Lots of really bad stuff will start to happen at negative three stability. I can force his religion and make him a vassal. Oh. Maybe I will. I really need Gazimook to be as loyal as possible because I know he's going to be disloyal. So maybe I should, if I have to, I'll take the prestige hit just to keep him loyal. See, the whole thing, though, is if I vassalize him, oh, it'll drag me into war with QQ. And then he's just going to want to beat me up. Ah, oh, God. I didn't even think about that. What if I give it to Gazimook? Doesn't matter. <laughs> I was hoping that it would freak out and allow me to do it, but nope. Mm. I wish I could take it over, but I can't. All because he ended up declaring, maybe I'll hold out. I'll see if he ends up just peacing out for no reason. That's really bad that he did that. Cause I'm, I'm just thinking about that. If I vassalize him, he'll bring me into all possible wars that he's already in. Yep, will drag me into war against QQ. I'd really rather not have that.
So I guess we're just going to sit here and hope that QQ pieces out. Oh my god. Somebody just kill these freaking people. You are becoming a general. Holy shit, you are an amazing general. I'm not as upset as I was 10 seconds ago. Holy crap, your 6 military is definitely paying off for you, I'll tell you that. Holy crap. Nope. I didn't even click on that. Are you serious? Hmm. Nope. Nope. God, nobody wants to be friends. I don't even know why I'm funding my army still. Ooh, Shervani, Shervani, Shervani. The hell up here. I'm glad I just realized that they're at 90%. You know what? Go ahead and get another Merc. I'm just hoping he loses interest in this war before our country loses interest in this war. It's really what I'm banking on right now. There we go. That solves that problem. It costs us 1500 manpower. Now we can get rid of this merc. So we don't need you anymore. <sighs> Alright, so. Let's go ahead and keep getting some claims on like the Temerids. I know about Portugal. Huh. I'm surprised I know all the way over to Portugal. They would not accept an alliance from me either. Looks like the Golden Horde might be becoming weaker. 
it could be an opportune moment. Dave Gazimuk is quarterback. Come on, man. Lose interest in the war. Wonder out. I wonder if I can figure out when he started this. No. I can't. Yeah, I'll take the free stability. How much money do we make? Three ducats every month just from trade. That's not bad. It's half of our income, basically. Come on, man, just get out of your stupid war that nobody has gained anything in in the past four years. Guys, the separatists are about to spawn in his lands. Wait, Golden Horde has no army? Declare war. Like, if he has no army at all, I mean, who am I to not do this? I'd be stupid. That's who I'd be. Stupid person. I'm going to play it safe, though. And keep like our my whole army together. As long as the supply limit allows us to all stay here, we are all going to stay here. All right. Oh. Where the hell are you even going? He's going over to Uzbek, isn't he? Yes, he is. Is Uzbek in this war? Nope. Ryzan's in the war, but... Not too worried about that. We're fighting... About seven or 8,000 troops. Dude, you really just need to lose interest in your war. It's going on five years, man. I can't make up his mind here. Oh, there we go. He made up his mind. Is he ever going to get, like, call for peace kind of stuff? I'm not sure if he uh, even gets that. I mean, I'm sure I'll get it before he does, but...
Here we go. Let's get this whole bottom section sieged up. Alright, so now that we got that whole bottom section sieged up, I'm gonna peek up here. Saratov is his capital. Damn. I was gonna peek to see if his capital was up here, but I guess I'll get a little further peek up this way anyway. Just for the hell of it. Call for peace. Damn, I was really hoping to not get that. I knew it was coming though, I really did. Ah, they beat me to it up there. Okay, fair enough. Let's come back home. Hey Golden Horde, I want you to give that to Gazimook. I can't make them cores, really? But they're right next to Gazimo. What if I want those? You would totally do it. Make Gazimo a little bit stronger. be honest, I want to give him that so I can go to war with no guy. But it's not going to happen anytime soon, so I might as well just give him these. Take as much money from them as I can. Ninety-two ducats. All right, I'll do it. Now he is higher liberty desire, but okay, good. QQ pieced out, which means I can now force his religion and make him a vassal. And take some of his money. Perfect. And now I'm not at war with QQ over that. I did call for peace. You can go away now, you know. So I can placate them. I'll help a little bit. I'm going to start by improving relations with them. No, we'll do placate as well. Just because that'll help knock it down right off the bat. Care about what's going on over there. Alright, so these two mercs can now go away. You know, rival Golden Horde and Crimea. We can even rival the Temerids, huh? 
I don't know if it's a good time to do that. Temerids are at war with Uzbek and Chagatai. They're at war with Muscovy Perm, Ilgai Temerids, Multan Ardalan. I mean, they're going to be focused up here. We'll see what happens. I do have an extra force limit now, so I'm definitely going to build up to that. How are they feeling these days? Nah, I'd rather get the free stability again. Is he working on making that a core? Nope. No, he's not. For some freaking reason. I could designate him as a march over here. He considers... Erzurum to be part of his. It's too bad you can't like fabricate claims on people next to your vassals. Oh well. Anyway, I think that'll more than do it for this episode. I'm going to put a cut in here, and we will continue in the next episode and figure out what other options become available to us. So far, we got two vassals. We got two allies, so we have full relationships, which is good. Um, AQ is pretty un unloyal, but I think it'll change with time. But... Until next time, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode, but until then, bye bye